Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Woman Radio. I am blessed to have a very special guest on, and I know that I uh, put it out there last episode uh, so that you could join in and hear it uh, from, in his own words, all the amazing things that are going on in Austin's life. This is Mountain Woman Radio. I am your host, Tammy Treyer, and this is episode number 219. So if you are new to Mountain Woman Radio, you can go to treyerwilderness.com slash podcast dash 219 to get the show notes from today and any links and, and, and resources that we mention. Um, and for those of you that are new to Mountain Woman Radio, my family and I, including Austin, I embarked on an off-grid journey back in 2010. Austin was 13 at the time, and uh, we uh, educate on our faith-led preparedness, off-grid, homesteading, wilderness survival lifestyle, and enjoy sharing it with the world. And Austin has had many opportunities to do some really amazing things. He has been uh, featured in several magazines, uh, the New Pioneer Magazine, American Frontiersman, and uh, it's just awesome uh, because Austin has overcome roughly 97% of his autism tendencies as a result of our lifestyle and natural uh, methods that we had put in place early in his life. And uh, now he's got amazing things to share with you today. So without further ado, I'm going to let him share his amazing news with you. So you were in Job Corps. You were working um, there to be a uh, big uh, equipment repairman. Yep. And um, you felt the desire to uh, change direction some. Yeah. So share, share what, what you've done since uh, the coronavirus caused Job Corps to close and you to come home. What transpired and what do you have going on? So I have been looking around for other trade schools okay. while I waited for Job Corps to open back up. Okay. I, I really didn't like it that much, but it wasn't just not, wasn't made for me. Okay. It's, it's good made way. for certain people and I wasn't in that group. Okay. Well, and that's part of life is experiencing things and realizing what is for us, what works for us and what doesn't work for us. So, yeah. okay. So in learning that that wasn't really something that you enjoyed, it wasn't so much the big repair uh, big equipment repair that you didn't enjoy. It was more the environment and stuff. So you were yeah. looking for something more wholesome, looking for a different avenue to uh, get your hands dirty in, in big equipment and equipment yeah. repair. So while you were looking for um, other trade schools, you know, share what transpired. We were looking at different places, you know, so what yeah. What did you find? Where did you end up? Where are you headed? So, while I was looking for trade schools, some trade schools came up about aviation. And none of them were Christian, the, the first few. And then my dad's said about moody aviation because he heard about it on the air on moody moody radio yeah okay and we knew about moody bible institute yeah. i mean we listened to moody radio we you know we knew about that but neither one neither you or i knew about the moody aviation so it was a pretty divine implant on your dad's part right yeah <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> so what transpired after you uh heard those words because i know your eyes lit up pretty darn big <laughs> i started getting ready for to go to moody so we put in your application yeah. and they're pretty selective and um it's a big, a big um, investment mm -hmm. of both time and and finances. Yeah. And so we put in all the, you put in all the applications, and um, then you came running up from the cabin doing quite the happy dance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
when you were accepted. Yeah. So, big doings. I can't tell you how proud I am of my boy. This is just so awesome. And this is just such an awesome, awesome opportunity. And we decided to kind of wait to do the podcast and to share this because yesterday we had the opportunity to tour the facilities. Mm. And, mm. oh my word. What were your thoughts? Because I know what mine were, but what were your thoughts? Extremely amazing. <laughs> Seeing all the planes and all the equipment I got get to use. And, and at the very end of it, of the maintenance part at least, you get your own toolbox full of tools. But just the stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh my yeah. goodness, the place is amazing. And um, his, your, his first year will be all studies and learning the Bible and, yeah. and um, really delving deep there. And uh, then the second and third year are your maintenance and repair courses. Yep. And then at that point he has an option. He can go on and do the extended maintenance um, where he can learn to fly. And if he learns to fly, then that's the fourth and fifth year uh, learning to fly. But then he still has the opportunity to advance to the uh, really advanced mechanicking, and um, which would take it into a seven-year program. But the point of the program is that through this, he gets involved in the missionary field. And he becomes a very huge, huge asset in that not only can he repair the planes, but he can fly the planes into these places, land at the top of some extreme mountain tops and some really sketchy um, landing strips. We saw pictures of some of those and heard some stories yesterday and woohoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, he uh, is also able to, if the plane has troubles, diagnose it and either repair it on the spot or call into home base and letting them know what parts they, he will need and, and to get it repaired and back on, in the air. So it's really intense and to see the different planes that they're working on and what they're learning to do and the, the shop and, and the space that's there and all the different things he'll be learning. The mountain man did not go with us yesterday, but we would have had a hard time getting him through that section of the school because for the, um, mountain man and his fabricating side and his MacGyver side he would have been in his element it was like a major MacGyver setup so it was really awesome so to just know what Austin is stepping into to see the wholesome people that he will be um, living with and and dealing with on a, a daily basis and a constant basis there the fellowship the, the um, small group settings the chapel settings it's just awesome. It is just awesome. So we didn't only tour the facility, but we got to meet his landlord, who is actually part of the school, more or less. Um, the Obersts um, owned homes there in Spokane near the facility that they rent out to the students. They feel led uh, by God to do this and are continuing to attain more parcels to enable them to uh, help more students and it's really really awesome very sweet people and uh, he got to meet the um, HA which is the uh, I guess the house associate and uh, one of the other students that he'll be uh, schooling with this year so um, really great opportunity for us to be out there and be able to see everything get you acclimated and and that and yeah. And this is all happened so fast. Um, I'm thinking, I'm wanting to say that you put your applic. Well, you did because we had to have your application in before July 1st, and we got it in like the 24th or the 27th, something crazy like that. Because this all happened so fast. Mm -hmm. As soon as we delved in and started checking it out, the application for the the next term had to be in. So we only had like a couple days to really jam and get everything together, which was madness. And then um, he just found out that uh, he was accepted. So this has just been a whirlwind of craziness, but also such awesomeness. And seeing how God is opening the doors and providing has been amazing. How about it? Yeah. <laughs> so what are you most excited about in this whole new adventure? 
tour from planes. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. And the flying. Yeah, yeah. And just the broadness of, of your reach once you are able to do those things. It's just so amazing. So, so amazing. So, you have some other things that are going on also because God um, spoke with me and shared with me how we can tr attempt to fund Austin schooling because it's pretty extensive and excessive, but it's an investment into his future. And Austin owns biggerthanautism.com. He started, you started using that as an adult um, rather than Mountain Boy Journal so that you could share your journey. And we just purchased that like last year or the year before and started utilizing that. But um, why don't you share with them instead of me um, how you've chosen to direct this with God's guidance through me? So, um, we're turning it into a place for autistic people to put their wares, all their products that they make to help them get money to help their future go mm -hmm. and to see these kids go as far as they can go with, with our help and God's help. That's really awesome. Very well put. And, you know, one of the things that we've noticed locally, and it could be as a result of us being very open about um, Austin being high-functioning autistic, but um, we're real open with that because we want him to be as successful as he can be. So if there's something um, that he would be doing that we could improve, um, you know, that was always our, our goal, uh, even when he was little and in school. So the same applied when we were applying for jobs. And unfortunately, locally, we've applied for so many different jobs and nobody wanted to give him a chance. And um, it was it was hard and it was saddening in a lot of ways. So by doing this and, and with what he just said, it enables us to give the autism community and those kids out there that have abilities and have talents that are also struggling to find work um, because people just not being willing to give them a chance. And this will give them the opportunity to have their own storefront. And they can uh, sell their jewelry, their, their music, if they sing, they can um, have downloadable MP3s. If they like to write, they can have eBooks that are downloadable on, on the storefront. Austin was doing his paracord items and his um, elk hide moccasins and he was also working on some ebooks so this will enable individuals on the spectrum an opportunity to have something a success for themselves and a place to to uh, market themselves at a very low cost so it'll get them out there it'll help fund Austin schooling and we're really praying hard that it's a win-win and because God instilled all those ideas you know I really think we will it was crazy because we took a road trip that day when God had given me the ideas and we kind of had a business trip on the way right and mm -hmm. and it was just crazy how down to the logo and everything I had the ideas and it was all and without sharing it I'd ask him what his thoughts were and what his visions were when I shared the idea and, and they were the same so it's pretty amazing to see what God does and how he opens doors and implants ideas. And uh, for those of you that are um, on the spectrum or know somebody on the spectrum, biggerthanautism.com is the place to go. Uh, we hope to have it live. We are redesigning things and, and putting things in place right now. So hopefully uh, by the beginning of next week, um, here in July, uh, you'll be able to go on there and sign up as an artist and get your uh, storefront and start selling your wares and have something that you can call yours. And um, something else I want to mention too is if you are interested and feel led, because many people have asked us, I want to share this on here. Um, if you want to uh, follow along with Austin's adventures and find out how he's doing and how he's progressing and just stay um, in contact with him and, and get his newsletters on, on his updates, 
you can go to biggerthanautism.com slash moody aviation updates and you will be able to uh, get on his newsletter list uh, so that you can be updated um, we're probably looking at quarterly right now but depending how things go it might be more often than that and maybe if he has the time he'll be sharing things on bigger than oops, on bigger than autism um, on Instagram so uh, look look in these places and also people have asked how they can um, donate to Austin to help him uh, with this venture so we've set some things up because of people asking and um, you can use the email donations at bigger than autism.com on both Zelle and PayPal and um, you can also um, mail uh, letters to him at uh, bigger than autism .com, or bigger than autism at P.O. Box 10, St. Mary's, Idaho, 83861. I will have all of that information in the um, show notes. And again, you can find that by going to treyerwilderness.com slash podcast dash 219. And um, he does have a YouTube channel also. You can check that out at YouTube. Now, wait a minute. We set up a pretty link for that. So it's biggerthanautism.com slash YouTube um, if you want to go there and uh, subscribe to that as well. But I'm so excited for you. This is so awesome. What an adventure for you. What an opportunity for you. Oh, there were so many times yesterday that I ended up getting, uh, you know, teary eyed with just the opportunities and just to see the facilities. What an amazing place and what an amazing God filled place. So I'm just so excited for him. But what, what are some encouraging words that you would like to share with our audience and those even, you know, that are on the spectrum, but also just regular individuals that are out there watching that may be discouraged or need a little bit of encouragement what are your words of encouragement for today keep on fighting the good fight and always if you need help ask somebody you know you can trust and to never give up on what you're doing awesome very awesome words. You know, I want to share this. He got me a little teary jerk there. But uh, <laughs> um, one of my dear friends from school, Kim, um, wanted to uh, send a little something to Austin. And what was really amazing is Austin has always hung tight to a particular scripture. And she sent out her, her card and he got it last evening and uh, why don't you share that Bible verse because what was really crazy is she left him a note and said that God put it on her heart to remind him of this Bible verse not knowing at all so you don't necessarily have to give the ref reference because it's always hard harder to remember the reference but there's multiple references in the Bible to this verse what is the verse that you always hang on to you on the spot <laughs> remember what Kim put on her on her card Trying to remember. well and I always say it to you too with God with God all things are possible right and that was the first thing you noticed in her correspondence too mm -hmm. so that's another thing to hang on to not only his powerful words but the Bible verse that he hangs tight to and that can be found in Matthew as well as in Mark and uh, it is it is something to remember that you know as man we have we don't have those kind of great abilities but when you add the power and miraculous of God anything is possible so you know whether you're on the spectrum or not God has great plans for you and when you put your trust in him and you seek him he will open doors and and will show himself to you and um, that is one amazing promise that our family hangs on to and we get to see his hand in so so much yeah well austin 
I'm really grateful that you took the time to join me today and I know that our audience will be great, uh, really grateful to have been able to hear this from your mouth and to share this time with you too. And uh, I just want to tell you on the air that I will be praying for you daily and I am so excited to see what God does in your life and how he uses you. <laughs> so anyway, before I totally <laughs> lose it here, um, Thank you guys for joining us so much. We wish you the best. We are praying for all of you as well. And until the next one, guys, take care and God bless. God bless.